Pokemon tournament. Where to even begin with this? Now, I had just seen the trailer like m sometime mid yesterday. And I have to say, um, I'm not sure what to make of it. I had actually watched it a couple of times and I was like, okay, you know, maybe this here is just like, like this here is an obvious and early, early build. So a lot of things weren't polished. Like a lot of the attacks look um pretty blocky. And considering this here is from the same team that's doing Tekken, you know, I kind of have high hopes for this game. But at the same time, you know, Pokemon and Nintendo are also going to be involved in the development of this game. And that kind of worries me a little bit. Because we've had games in the past where the competition side of it should have been the main focus. But rather than focus on, you know, competitive play, Nintendo wants to make all their games for casual players to where anybody can pick it up and win. And I have a problem with that. Take, for instance, Super Smash Brothers Melee. You know, the game was turned into something that they obviously didn't expect it to be. But that community was, was very strong. And for me, as a Smash player, I thought I was good at the game until I learned about, you know, wave dashing and L cancels and, you know, all this other stuff. And it expanded the game for me because I just wasn't good you know compared to these people i was i was garbage so i had to learn and then you know they made super smash brothers brawl and they said well we're taking all of that stuff out of the game which i didn't have a problem with because i wasn't that good at doing all of that stuff anyway i could do it but i didn't make it part of my gameplay and they said it was going to like make the game slower and all this other stuff and i was like okay you know let's see what it's about and then you get the game and you turn out it's nothing like melee it was just a horribly watered down version of the game and a lot of the melee fans you know were like well this sucks and that's the way i kind of feel about with this game it's like nintendo is going to take the approach of we don't want this game to be like a real fighter so we're going to do everything we can to water it down and that's the way I feel about this game when I watch the trailer like one of the things I did notice from watching the trailer were the lack of high mid and low attacks it's like all the attacks always hit center mass and that's not a problem because I was like okay you know this here is an early build they didn't work all that stuff out but actually doing some more research on the game um, one of the developers had pretty much said this game will not feature any high mid or low attacks which is an obvious problem for fighting games because you know you want your mix-ups you don't want to just keep attacking into someone and they block and it's just the same thing why should I have to worry about blocking a low if you're not going to do a low right now you guys already heard my rants before about like law players in Tekken how like you'll block all of their high and mid attacks and they'll go for like a dragon tail and you don't expect it and they do that the entire match it's like you know at the same time that is annoying but you need mix-ups in fighting games and i don't see any kind of mix-ups here in this game it's like do you wait for somebody to attack then punish or what like i don't know how it's going to be so that's going to make you know character selection i guess better but at the same time, you know, I really don't know. They had also said after that, we are going to um, create a, um, a fighting style or an engine for the game based on the fact that they're not using, you know, high, mid, low mix-ups. So that got me thinking. They could have characters like Eevee in the game, who is obviously a low to the ground character, but they will probably make the hitboxes on... Um, all the attacks like extremely large to where no matter how big or small the character is they will always get hit by a punch even if it doesn't physically connect with them the hitbox will so that's what I'm thinking might actually happen 
All right, now since this game here is also being developed by Tekken, there or by the developers of Tekken, I expect um, some things to be in the game. I expect, um, for one, bounds to be in the game. And watching the gameplay trailer, I saw Machamp do what could be considered a bound. It hit Lucario, and Lucario spun around for like maybe a couple of seconds, allowing for possible follow-up attacks. Um, I don't know if this is a bound. It's too early to tell because, um, like fighting games, some characters have... Um, stun attacks like for instance Sub-Zero has his Ice Blast um, Cabal um, spins you around for like two or three seconds and then you can um, get possible follow-up attacks so I don't know if that's actually an, actually a bound or if it's just um, an attack that Machamp does that stuns the character so you can hit him for a sec or just so you can like get follow-up attacks on him and um, two I actually want to see some more um, Tekken inspired things here. I want to see um, um, I want to see floor breaks. I want to see wall breaks. I want to see um, like balcony breaks. I want to see um, wall combos and um, stuff like that. Like I do want to see um, high mid and low attacks. I, I want to see them because they make the game interesting. It's not like Everybody's playing on the same level the entire time. But we'll have to wait and see pretty much to see what actually happens. Um, another thing that actually kind of worries me is the fact that the game might only be fighting Pokemon exclusive. Um, now, don't get me wrong. I've always wanted to see Machamp in a fighting game. Like, ever since Super Smash Bros. Like, started, I felt Machamp would have been a... Um, a good candidate for the game just because um, but so far as from what we can tell the game is probably going to be exclusively fighting type Pokemon's which is a big deal for me the um the, the, um, the developers had said the game is not going to be fighting Pokemon exclusive but based on what we've already seen from the game, we've seen Lucario, Machamp, and Blaziken, which was shown from an earlier screenshot way back last year sometime, like before the release of Pokemon X and Y. So, so far, they're not off to a good track record by saying the game is only going to be fighting Pokemon exclusive. I think at the time, they only planned it for, they only planned the game to be fighting Pokemon exclusive, but they um, know that the, um, the Pokemon fan base is a lot wider than that. And for somebody like me, who um, only plays Pokemon so they can play with their favorite Pokemon, I would have no reason to buy this game or even play it if the game wasn't, or if the game didn't have any Pokemon I like in it. So I sent out um, a tweet to one of the um, developers and I asked them, what are the possibilities that they could possibly put Pidgeot in this game? Because that would pretty much make it an auto buy for me. Like currently I do not own a Wii U. Because there's nothing on the Wii U. That I want to play the game for. Sure. There's um the new Smash game coming out. Sure. There's Mario. Um, there's Mario Kart 8. And um, the new Mario Party game coming out on it. But the problem with that is. is I own Super Smash Bros. Melee and Brawl. I own Mario Kart Wii. And I own Mario Party um, 7 and 8. No, 8 and 9. 8 and 9. I own these games already. So there's no reason for me to buy a brand new game system just for one game. Now, Star Fox will also sell me a Wii U. But if they were to put Pidgeot in this game, it will be an instant sell for me. Like, I will go out and buy a Wii U just because of that. Um... Another thing, since this this here is being developed by um, Namco, I actually want to see this game on the PlayStation 4 and the um and the Xbox One. Now I know what you guys are saying. Why would they make a Pokemon game and put it on all the other game systems when they could just put it on the Wii U to strengthen their Wii U sales? Um, I say why not. Like for me, I really don't like the fact 
that people will have to go out and buy a brand new game console just to play one game like it actually irritated me that children sent the, the one on the xbox one was not on a playstation 4 and the wii u because there, there's really no reason for it to be a console exclusive game other than microsoft saying only put this game on our system it's like you know the fighting game community is a lot bigger than um just console exclusives like playstation users want to play killer instinct we you users want to play killer instinct but we can't play these games because we don't have an xbox one so i'm probably going to have to go out and buy an xbox one just so i can play killer instinct like i don't want this game to suffer that same fate like yeah sure it's pokemon but it's a fighting game and the game potentially has a shot of being um played at evo 2015 which would be very um interesting to see because i would i would actually want to watch that but i want to see the game represented on more than one game game system i'm not saying you know put all your pokemon games on every system but no just like make this one here playable on all systems they probably won't do it because you know they want to sell their wii u and like I said, they can possibly do that, but they want to sell me the game. They have to put Pokemon in the game that I like, and that's the problem. Is if most of the people who own Wii U's don't have Pokemon in the game that they like, then they won't have a reason to buy the game. Like I'm not a fan of Lucario. I'm not a fan of Machamp. I'm not a fan of Blaziken. Um, they also said the um, the new engine they plan on building will allow them to implement any Pokemon they want to put in the game. So it gives me possibility of knowing I have a chance of playing as Pidgeot or maybe Vaporeon. Not very likely because it looks like they're sticking to um, Humanoid or Bipedal Pokemon. And I think um, Pidgeot could qualify as um, a Bipedal because it does have two legs and it has two um, wings that could act as arms. It'll be an interesting thing to see in the um, game, though. It'll definitely be a lot easier to put um, those in instead of putting in something like Evolutions or any of the um, any of the uh, like four-legged ferals and stuff like that. But just looking back over the um, actual, you know, gameplay trailer and stuff like, we see everything where we're already used to. Like this game pretty much feels like um it feels like smash from the actual trailer it feels like smash because all the characters are doing nothing but special attacks but it feels more like a traditional um fighter in terms of you know there are there are combos there are blocks there are um, stuff like that but it feels like a um like a more fighting oriented smash game if that like makes any sense the other thing that they did show at the end was mega lucario interesting thing here is i don't know how megas will be implemented in this game like i don't know if it's going to be like a special attack or if mega lucario is going to take a separate character on the character roster if that is the case then that means we will possibly be seeing less characters and more um, clones, for instance. Or like, for instance, let's say they put Mewtwo in the game. And they want to put Mega Mewtwo in, but had his own character, like on his own character roster. You'll have Mewtwo, Mega Mewtwo X, Mega Mewtwo Y. That's already three character slots gone for one character. Um, the same thing with Charizard. I also think Charizard has a, um, a potential to be in the game. But I don't want to see character um, roster slots wasted on Pokemon that have, you know, Megas, you know, more than one, for for instance. Because a lot of the Pokemon that could be in a game that are bipedal or human shape have Megas. And I don't know, it'll just be a waste to see, like, you know, eight or nine Pokemon in the game, but they manage to take up, like, you know, 25, 30 character slots. You know, I, I don't want to see that. I want to see more Pokemon represented that aren't just exclusively fighting fighting types um, human shape or bipedals um, 
there's actually like a speculation list going around like i believe there are certain pokemon we can't expect to see in a game like i think we could expect to see mewtwo i think we could expect to see um snorlax i think we can expect um charizard possibly dragonite um but at the same time it's like you know we, we want we want to see Pokemon that don't have an opportunity to shine in the video game or in games like Smash shine here. This is the reason why I really want Pidgeot in the game is because Pidgeot's a very popular Pokemon, but it's not represented like fairly well in the games. It's like sure you see it in the um, media, in the movies and stuff like that, but like in a chance as a as a character in a fighting game like this with a full fully fledged move set, you know that'll like bring people back in. It'll look, it'll make like, you know, the Gen 1ers and um, Gen 2ers like myself pretty much be like, you know what, they're still representing like our past. So I want to, you know, just get the game to check it out. But the game is going to stay the way it is now. I know they said they aren't going to keep it exclusively fighting type Pokemon. But if they're like no Pokemon in the game that, you know, fans like myself want in it, then we're not going to buy the game. It's easy for me to go out and buy like the new um, handheld Pokemon game because I know the Pokemon I like are going to be in it and I can continue to you know enjoy the Pokemon that I do like enjoy the game that I like but for something like this where I know not all 700 characters are going to be in the game because that will take a lot of time to do it's like you have to look at like well what do people actually want to play in a game like this this is where you really talk to the fans be like I don't want to just give you a game where there are going to be characters in the game that I want to be in the game. Like, I personally believe Machamp is a good call for this. Like, I've always wanted to see Machamp, like, actually fight. He's like, he's got these forearms, and you know, Machamp is big. He's got muscles. He's, he's a fighter. You know, I would like, I wanted to see that for a very long time. And then we also have Pokemon like Lucario. It's like, you know, I've seen Lucario fight before. I'm not too eager to see Lucario fight you know again because i mean lucario's is pretty much going to be in two smash games now and a third one here so it's like you know what other pokemon can we actually see that could possibly be in a game well what about pokemon like zangus i would pretty much like to see like i would, I would, I would like to see charmander in a game i think that'd be pretty cute um i like i don't know like the possibilities here are are endless like there's so much you can do with this game and i'm just kind of like scared that nintendo is going to like ruin it and i know nintendo doesn't want to ruin you know their own game like i believe um pokemon company approached um namco to actually make this game it's not like namco came to them now i don't know that for a fact but i know namco wouldn't be like hey let's make a pokemon fighting game you know because if they were to make a Pokemon fighting game, I can guarantee you it'll be online with, um, it'll be a mix of Soul Calibur and Tekken with a heavy influence on the Tekken side, but like a combo system from, um, from Soul Calibur. And you can kind of see the influence Nintendo has on the game by, you know, not allowing, um, high, mid, low attacks and, um, mix-ups. So I'm just not sure how that's actually going to play out in a fighting game where everyone is just constantly on the um, same level. Like, it's like I kind of get the feeling that it's going to have that smash vibe where, you know, one block fits all situation. But I'm not sure how the blocking system here is. Like, people say the game has standard blocks and something called, like, a, like an elemental block or something like that. I'm not sure how true that is. But that pretty much brings me up to my next point is um, I really don't want to see... Um, type advantage be a thing here in, in this game like fighting games are already um super complicated in terms of mechanics and um how the characters are like if you notice in most fighting games they have like the fast characters who hit fast but they're not as powerful they have the um balanced characters who can hit fast and deal decent damage but you know there's nothing really special about the character in terms of you know offense and defense they're kind of borderline and then you have like the um the slow characters who hit really hard and powerful but they're really slow you have characters that are zoners that um that want to stay away from the opponent 
and deal their damage that way but they can do combos but the combos are not as powerful as like their projectiles and um just their standard keep away game style and i think pokemon this game here could um benefit a lot from that like lucario obviously looks like a character that's in your face i'm going to hit you fast and i'm gonna try to deal my damage that way lucario doesn't look like it'll deal a lot of damage but it'll get a lot of hits in fast machamp it looks like a slower character he hits hard but he's not that fast but we are there are also other character roles that we can um we can play with like for instance um pidgeot in the video games is pretty much a jack of all trades it has very balanced stats and it tries to do everything um well like pidgeot could play the role of the balanced character here where it can be in your face it can zone pretty decently but you know nothing it does is going to be completely overpowered because you can get in on the character as much as the character can get in on you and then we have characters like zoners somebody that wants to play the keep away game like maybe a um like a psychic type or something but want to play the keep away game they want to keep you on the other side of the screen and um deal their damage that way similar to um kenshi in um, mortal kombat kenshi can get in if he wants to but he wants to play the keep away game he just wants to send out um psychic clones against you get his damage that way so this game really does have a lot of potential but um pokemon just has to like not do anything would probably be the best way to say that because like you know the um developers from tekken they're not going to make a bad pokemon game they're not going to like you know ruin the brand or hurt hurt the um the like hurt the company's name or the image of pokemon for example you know tekken has guns and swords and you know the tekken has weapons in it you know they're not going to put guns and swords in this pokemon game here but like i could see them implementing the um the hold items like for instance i'm not sure if this game is a 2d fighter or a 3d fighter the game looks 2d but if the game were to be like a 3d fighter they could simply um have choice items in the game but like the choice items will be you'll get the effect but you can't sidestep like for instance um choice band will either keep you in rage mode or increase your attack damage but you couldn't sidestep to get away from certain attacks or they could have choice scarf in the game to where your character's movement speed increases but you um you can't sidestep same thing have like leftovers where your health re um recovers a little bit at a time over a course of time like every like maybe five or six seconds you gain back like two or three hit points you know i can really see you know the battle items being implemented maybe not have something like life orb in the game like maybe you make it to where all your special attacks deal more damage but you take some damage if the attack hits successfully but just based on the game we really don't get a lot of information but we do get clues on basic gameplay like the whole high mid low thing like when i was watching it the first time i was like i didn't see any low attacks i didn't see any launchers i didn't see i didn't see any of that and like follow-up combos are going to be a big deal like that's the whole thing about fighting combos or fighting combos fighting games is you want to be able to put the pressure in on your opponent and have their um and to be able to like this follow-up combos like in tekken i can launch somebody and i can do like a pretty much an eight nine or a ten hit combo off of that launcher i kind of want to see that here because i want to see the game be more in depth than what i'm actually seeing now but like i said at the beginning this here is like an early release of it the game looks pretty like i like the environments i want to see all the environments um take place in the pokemon world being um influenced on that and i think based on the screenshot we saw with the um blaziken and lucario that's going to be the case but i want to see a more realistic fighting game here like at this point a e and e 10 plus rating might be on a, you might not be able to get those ratings so you should shoot for a teen rating here because this here is a fighting game so i want to see things like you know wall breaks and stuff i want to see destructible backgrounds i just want to see a more aged up um pokemon fighting game and this can go that way like the um, character models don't need any physical damage um i don't think that'll work for this type of game but i would like to see some um 
I, I don't know. I, I would just like to see more Tekken influence on the game. And um, it's too um, it's too early to say that there won't be any Tekken influence. But based on what I've seen so far, this here isn't the case. It's looks like um, Pokemon putting their hand too far into the um, jarred and what they should be allowed to. Like, I think there should be some guidelines, like no blood, no weapons, um, nothing like that. But Namco should pretty much be in complete control over the, like, creative side of the game. Like, I wonder, like I don't think I've even seen any grabs in this trailer. Like, I wonder how, like, graphic the grabs will be. Like, in Tekken, there weren't, wasn't, like, any blood, though, but you'll have, like, some neckbreaker grabs and backbreaker grabs and, you know, things like tombstones and stuff. I wonder if we'll see any of those type of grabs here in this game. It'd be nice if we did, though. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for um, my thoughts on this, what, two-minute video. Um, I'm actually going to cover this all the way through its um, development. So hopefully we can... Um, Hopefully we get more things what I'm looking for for the um, game. But you guys tell me what Pokemon that you would actually like in the game. Who who you want to see. How do you want them to be. Like what type of role that the characters to play. Whether they should be like a, um, a brawler. Um, a fast attacker. Slow but powerful attacker. A zoner or a speed character. Like just like. Like a, like just a Pokemon that you actually want in the game. And how they should feel. Um, just leave that in the comments below. Um, if you guys like what you saw here, um, leave comments and subscribe to my channel. There will be more content in the future. And like I said, I'm actually going to cover Pokemon Tournament um, throughout the course of its development. And this is Phoenix 3, and I'll see you guys later.